Hey, good day folks, Bloater Bob here. Hey, glad you could join me today. Um, hope you can hear me. So, need to do a little uh, maintenance on the uh, on my uh, 2012 Kia. And what it is, is one of my license plate lights has gone out. So, about two years ago, I replaced my license plate lights with some LEDs and so apparently uh, that brand wasn't the greatest. One's worked great, one hasn't. So I got some new ones. These are called Bird's Eye, and uh, I'll show you in a picture there. These are Bird's Eye. They come in a little foil um, pack. And I don't know if you know anything about these funny looking um, foil packs, but these are called ESD packs. They're electrostatic discharge because LEDs are um, light emitting diodes and diodes have a semiconductor in them and semiconductors are sensitive to static discharge so when you walk across the room in the winter time and you touch the doorknob and you see a great big spark come off of your uh, finger or you pull the socks apart while you're folding them and you see the static electricity and you hear it, that kind of static discharge um, can destroy a semiconductor. Um, microprocessors, um, memory, anything that's got a semi, is made of semiconducting material is sensitive to static discharge. And so that's why they come in this and when you're dealing with um, a semiconductor, it's good to not touch the conductors. So the wires, they're the conductors, that's what conducts the electricity. Hold it by the side, hold it by the plastic. Um, if you got to touch the conductor, it's a good idea to ground yourself and then pick it up. This is the lamp holder for the back of my Kia, the tail the license plate and the reason I have this is because I damaged it trying to take it out because I didn't know how to take it out so the, there are this goes up in underneath the uh, tailgate and gets pushed up in there and then to take it out you need something skinny I use a, a very skinny flexible um, putty knife. This is skinnier than most and I don't know where I got this. I don't know if I got it from Sears or if I got it from um, Harbor Freight years ago in Idaho. Don't know where I got it but man it is perfect for this job. Another option would be um, to get the um, plastic spatulas, the plastic um, type of putty knives. They sell them at Harbor Freight. Um, and they're designed to remove um, things like this from a car without damaging the finish. So what I'm going to do, and what you do, there's two spring clips here, and I'm going to, uh, I've taken a picture of this, and I'll insert the picture here, and you'll be able to see there's a spring clip on this side, and a spring clip on that side, and there's a little detent there. So you're going to go in from the, uh, the one edge push this over and then that'll allow it to drop out and then you'll be able to remove the light holder and replace the bulb so without any further ado i'll move the camera i'll show you how it's done and i've already put one in and um, i i replaced the one that's burnt out and i'm going to replace the other one because they're different colors and i just want the uh the appearance on the back of the car to look the same so let me bring you a little closer and we'll get this done. This is the back uh, tailgate on my uh, Kia. And I tried to wipe some of the dirt away on the tailgate. Trunk lid. On the boot, as some of y'all like to call them. This is the backup camera. And right here is the left hand or the driver's side. And here's the passenger side license plate lamp holder. And what I'm going to do, right here, I don't know if you can see it, 
but right under I'm sorry right under here is the uh, button you push to uh, open the deck open the trunk what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, go right up under between the uh, the metal of the trunk lid and the holder and then I'm just gonna push in and oh, there you go you just kind of popped out and that's it you're gonna twist the bulb and like I said I've already put a bulb in here before now what I'm gonna do I got another bulb here place that there so I'm gonna go ahead and insert insert the bulb now I'm not going to put it back together because I'm going to turn the lights on and see if it comes on or not because so you have a 50 50 chance of putting it in the correct way let me demonstrate this oh Wow, look at that. These are great bulbs. Let me show you something. This bulb worked in either direction. I cannot believe that. How did they do that? So let me show you this bulb. This bulb must be inferior. You see there it doesn't work. But if I rotate it, it works. So let me tell you, I really like this, this new bulb because it'll fit in either direction huh they keep changing stuff all the time look at that folks that is a nice and bright light so what you do take that bulb put it back inside your lamp light holder lamp holder put it there you're going to put it back up into the hole one side at a time push it up and that's it folks that's how you change them so if you have any questions, uh, put a comment down below and ask. But I really like them. I think they're pretty nice. Hopefully these will last longer than the other kind. I will put a link down below. Hey, I don't know if these are good, bad or not. I go to Amazon. I find what I'm looking for. And I buy it. Sometimes you get good stuff. Sometimes you don't. So... I'm not um, saying this is what you should buy or shouldn't buy. If you know of a brand or type of LED bulb for this that's great, please let a comment below. Maybe even put a link to it at Amazon or maybe the uh, light bulbs manufacturer's website. Help me out. Help other YouTubers out. So originally this came with incandescent bulbs, 168 type, and I replaced it with 168 LED equivalents. And let me know if you'd be interested in seeing a video about this new type of wire nut that I found. And it, it may not be new, but it's new to me. Um, so, you know, some of these LED bulbs might be new to you. They might be old to you. But... Um, I really like them. I'm putting them in a lot of different um, pieces of equipment like my Kubota. I got LED bulbs in them and I love them. They're great. So if you have, like I said, if you have any questions, drop a comment down below. Hey, this would be a great time to smash that like button. Uh, hit the subscribe and share this video with a friend. I'd really appreciate it. I could use all the views I could get and uh, welcome your subscription. Please subscribe, like, and share. Have a great day, folks. This is a wrap.